intensity inside the MOA arena continues to escalate. Fourth and final quarter of action, Salpukan Petron at San Mig. Dito sa game one, lang ating TLDD Telpad Governor's Cup Finals. Magumar John, Jason Webb, Erika Padilla, ang tatlo. Dito as Mark Baroga came out with a huge block on Junmar Bajardo and he's almost scores. <laughs> Sabi sa akin Junmar, sobra ka na ha. Nasupalpal mo na ako, susutan mo pa ako. Lassiter gets it over to Miranda. He lines up a three. Short. All board para kay Deno. Kasama nga nila. Ito si Pajardo, Millsap, and Lutz. Para naman si Sandvik. Napangkit na natin si Baroka. Andya dyan. Itong si Malyari, Simon, Travis, and Del Campo. As Malyari is called for steps. Can't give, can't give away these uh, turnovers. But look at Mark Baroka. Able to block Junmar Pajardo. Minions all over the world loving that piece of action. Hindi man qualified na minion itong si Baroga. Eh pagka 16 yung kalaban mo, pwede na yun. Lutz on the move. Opportunity here for Petron. They, they have that lineup where you think that they have lots of advantages. Lalo lalo na, wala si Blake sa kabila. Junmar nang gigigil. Talawa ko mo yun. He loses that dribble. Picked up now by PJ Simone. Gotta say that uh, Pianci de Ocampo has done a good enough job on Fajardo. Simon to Rivas. San Mick looking to settle this one down. They go to Yancey from the elbow. Il Campo no. Millsap taps it to Lutz. Now Millsap receives it. Lutz finds it up. But just a throw! Three-pointer now. Hatid sa atin ng PLDD Telpak. Three-point shots of Petron. There, not, there haven't been that many. Only four so far, but it has come in very opportune time. That is just the first basket of the game para dito kay Chris Lutz. Let's see if he starts to heat up. Simon couldn't go by Lassiter. Yancey against Pajardo. Leo Campo fading away. That is a play that has limited success, especially if Yancey gets it at that high post. Millsap stopping pop. Punches it through. Long to lang daw, pero still good enough for a 5 to nothing run para sa Petron, forcing Coach Tim Cohn into this timeout. 64-61 and nasa ating talan. Full timeout progressive by the mix. All tournament long, etong Petron Blaze has proven to be deadly from that three-point line. At dahil nagsisimula ng tumama ang kanilang outside shooting, the cause of concern para kay Coach Tim Cohn. Five seconds, Tati Pira, sa kanilang shot clock. Para ba? Couldn't get through those back, but Rivas is there. Blankly, ayo pa rin. That hurt because that was a follow-up dunk. Tati pa rin pumasok. Lassiter to the hole. Gets that layup to go. Here, you can see that Petron really making making use of its quickness in this game. They've outscored itong San Mike Coffee. 26 to 15 in terms of fast break and turnover turnover point. This is now a 7 to nothing run para sa Blaze Boosters broken by that back shot coming from Rivas. Kabagnot loses his footing. He's in trouble. Sues for time. A little shaken up here. Is it going to be a 30 or a full? Full timeout as Alex is slow to get up. Ball as that stone wall defense of San Mikovi has shown up once again here in game one. So, Bumar John Kasama si Jason Webb together with Erika Matilla. Nakatutok sa patuloy nating uh, coverage that ng PLDT Talpat Governor's Cup Finals. PJ Simon ang tatanggap. Haven't seen James Yap in quite a while. Third quarter ng iniupo si James Yap still scoreless in this contest. Big block by Kabagnot right in front of Barroca. Alam mo si Alex, nanggigigil dito kay Baroga, kanina pa. Lutz for a three. Punches it through! Three-pointer at sa atin ng PLDD Telpa. He's gotta go out uh, on uh, Chris Lutz. He just made a three-pointer and miscommunication. Failure on defense on the part of San McCoffey. Malik sa ani mga bante ng Blaze Boosters. DJ with a 14-footer. The one-hander is good! Peter Junsimon already with 13 points. And he's, he's played really well for his team. Reason probably why we haven't seen much of James Yap. Kabagnot looking for Lutz. Millsap with that pick. Lutz jumps it over. Alex on that baseline. 
pinagpag ito si Baroka they go to Lasseter no pero rebound napulot na lang ni Millsap Petron has a fresh shot clock Lux rifles it to the left side Ito na si Millsap on the run Jun Farrestan for the stick back Jun Far for Harden that's his 7th rebound and also 10 points for him Good enough for a 6 point lead na naman para dito sa Petron You can see that he's actually more comfortable pag si Rivas mo abantay sa kanya He knows that he's much stronger than him can really bump him and get better paint position Baroka in trouble his pass caught by Simon PJ Na ipit ng wersa Di makakuha Pingris underneath Pingris carving out some space The reverse is good Patience, patience And it also helps to have that much strength This is just game number one Of a race to four Pero syempre ang importansya nito Pag ikaw nakakuha You force the adjustment Dun sa matatalo Game two is this Sunday afternoon 4.30 over at the Big Dome Pinabasahan ka ba, Jason? Kasali ka pa ba? Maritirado ka na? You know, that's another turnover despite, you know, the ball going in our direction, Magu. That's another turnover which has been it has been a big problem para dito sa San Miguel Coffee. That's 16 turnovers which have led to 16 turnover points. Lasseter puts it up. Make that! 19 turnover points, three pointer on the side of the PLDD Tapad. When they're not running and they get into their half court set, and they have so many good three point shooters that it's so they're, they're so difficult to defend. Best in three point shooting percentage, most three points made in the league. Iba Bawini PJ. Fajardo gets that board. Petron once again. Merong sagot dusa. Naging rally ng San Mikofi as Millsap gets that basket, make a sama pang foul. In this moment, you're in this moment in this game where you look at the players and it seemingly look at Elijah Millsap. He looks much fresher than the guys of San Mikofi. They seem to have a better bounce to their step at the moment. And it's not just in this game you've been mentioning it, Jason. Petron has done this all tournament long as we thank the all-new dual core PLDD Telpad, the world's first landline and tablet in one that lets you do more. Baroka doing more para dito si Sandvik. Again, good pressure release there by by uh, Sandvik Coffee, by a big man coming out, getting the release of the pressure and good cut on the part of uh, Mark Baroka. Just when they needed it most, that was a 10-point deficit sliced to 8 by Baroka. You know, Mark Pinger is a very good defender, but it seems that he struggled with the quickness of Elijah Millsap, especially coming from the outside and when he starts attacking him very quickly. Millsap is at the line once again, looking to put up another double-digit spread. As we take a look at this Photon Tornado Drive, brought to you by Photon, empower your business. Union Thundering Jam, Benina. Gagito kay Blakely. As Millsap goes two for two, or no, splits his charities. Yeah, he went two for two, right? so it's 79-69. Yeah, back on the floor. Inahanapan is ng offense ni coach Tim Cohn. Gets the basket, make a sound of a foul. James Yap, when I've seen him play against Petron, when it's Lutz or Lasseter that guards him, he, he, you, you look at him and he feels that he has the strength advantage at the post. He likes to play at the post with these guys and this is what he does. Gets that one-hander up, finally gets his first field goal. Yap completes that three-point play. 0 for 6 before that shot, no, Jason? Yes, and you know, he had the nice thing for James Yap after that basket and for Sad McCulty. Now he has that confidence. And he's fresh. Lasseter against James. Just on Sokate and Big Game. Marcio gets it over to Kabagnot. Alex with a fadeaway. No go. Here comes Sam McCulty once again, but Baroka loses it. Napulot naman ni Blake Leon. Oh, Blakely with a careless pass. Millsap looking to make a pay. It's interesting. And Coach Tim is going to be upset because he feels Alex Kabogdot was actually giving up the foul. 
And Coach Timbun is all the way to the other end of the floor, barking at the officials here. Hey, you look at you look at this play, and you 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 have to have a feel of the game. And if you have a feel of the game, and it's actually a fast break play, you can see that it seemed that Coach Stick or, or Alex was trying to give him the foul on uh, on Marcus Blakely. You see here when he turns, that's the foul. He's trying to give up that foul, and Marcus Blakely loses control because of that bump. Referees feel it's not enough for contact. That's another turnover and more turnover points for the Petro. Alex Cabagnot makes him pay with that technical free throw after Coach Tim was slapped with a tee. Much to the disgust of the Sandwich Planet in attendance. 82-72, balik sa sampu ang abante ng Petron. James shovels it over to Devans. Overshoots the mark. Loves on the move. Gets it out. Pass it back by three. Bang! Three pointer at the top of the PLDD top pass. You know, right now, Petron going to their strength. Quickness. Getting on that fast break. Getting layups. And then after that, getting three pointers. It's going to be another dunk right here. Or actually, good defense. Maronga not giving up on the play. Here's Kabagno for three. Doesn't work. Somebody crashed to the floor. It's Mark Maronga. Looks like it's going to be a foul against Melsap. Because he slowed down. He should have just gone straight. 85-72 is on the board. Even Governor Pardo is in the middle of the floor of the MOA Arena. Mark Pingris, pinababalik lahat ng kanya mga kakampi sa bench. Is it going to be a 30 or a fool's 30 second timeout? Para dito sa San Miguel. And it's, it's just been a common thing that we've seen. A while ago, about two, two timeouts ago, it was the entire Petron crew from, from the head coach all the way to the last coach talking to the referees. And then after that, now it's a third of uh, San Miguel Coffee. They see both teams. Since I've been sister team, I don't think so, not today. And Petron has re-established the biggest lead of the game, 13 puntos. What has Sandvik up their sleeve? We take a look at that three-pointer. Once again, earlier on from Marshall Lasseter. Brought to you by Pete Fresh. Karunungan, Kabutihan, Kapayapan, Bukang Bibig, Salamig. Right now, for San Miguel, it's 3.49. You still have a chance here. Yes, there's a big run that Petron has enjoyed right now, but you still have a chance to come back. Devans attacking. Nasaraduan ang pinto ni Lutz. His pass almost taken away. Ends up back up with him. Devans to Ping. Fouled in the act. So Mark Pingris will be moving to the line for two shots. Pingris rattles home the first all-important points needed here by San McCoffey if they want to salvage or have a shot at salvaging game number one. Ping brings him to within 11. Now San is looking for the stop. Time on the side of the Blaze Boosters. Millsap dancing with Blakely. Iigot nila papunta kay Lutz. Fajardo asking for it. Lutz still with the leather. Down the gutter the defense and then fading wow. away, that's getting a, the bounce. That's a big shot because, you know, San McCoffey, we try to clamp down defensively. A tough shot made by Chris Lutz. Malik sa 13 ang abante rito ng Petron. Yap tatanggap. They go to the bounce. Back to Yap. He pulls up for a three. Fouled in the act. Tatlong free throw parating para kay big game, James Yap. Now it is Petron's turn to complain. They see it. Marshall, does he get him in the legs? Uh, James does sell it. But the thing is, you just for the referees, it's tough because they allowed the, the coaches and the players to complain early. Once they start complaining, hindi natitig again. We saw Kanina. Coach Forbes, he was running into the court. Everyone seemed to have a, a, a shot at the referee today. Kaya pinakamahirap na trabaho sa buong mundo. Hindi pa yung atin, hindi pa yung sa player, hindi pa kahit anong trabaho. Yung referee, dahil wala ka talagang panalo. 
As we take a look at the Sistema Tooth and Gum Care Rookie of the Game, si Junmar Fajardo po yan, ang ating Sistema Tooth and Gum Rookie of the Game, ready, ready for the big league with Sistema Tooth and Gum Care. Get ready for life. 87-77. Gotta think for, for uh, San Big Coffee. All these possessions must stop for them. Lutz looking for Fajardo. Lutz once again will attack. Now drops it off. Junmar up and under. Big Morales does. Gotta love the patience of that rookie. The hindi siya nagmatali. Eventually, because of his patience, got an easy layup. Kaya nga siya ang ating sistema. Rookie of the game. Baroga bounces it to James. Another three-pointer on the way. Doesn't work. Bill with a rebound as we approach the two-minute warning. Last hit third. Will miss. Sandvig on the run. Blakely, Robert puts it up. No. Then a veteran foul. Bill Sapp whistles for his fourth. You know, all that work, trying to get position in the post, did not get it originally. But then when he finally touched the basketball, walang gigil, hindi siya nagmadali. That's why a lot of people are thinking, that man right there, that blonde man right there. Big future, Philippine basketball. That golden kraken. The blonde kraken, and dami naging ibang-ibang variation ng kraken. Dahil sa buhok na ito ni Junmar. As these last two minutes, time to power up with Cobra Energy Drink. La Casta Pinas. Bang! Magu, just too many three-point shots for Petron in the fourth quarter. They have four in the fourth. They only had three in the first uh, three quarters. Three-pointers to Atin Satin of PLD, the Delpa, James Yap gets two of those right back, but it is still an 11-point lead. And a, and a huge quarter for Adidas and Petron. Right now, they've scored 33 points. After they scored 23 in the first, limited to 18 and 18 in the second. And third. Lots once again, three-pointers to Petron. Umu ulana dito sa Moa Arena, brought to you pa rin by PLD, the Delpa. And Bingo, that, you know what it is? They're open three-point shots, though. And it's coming out of nice driving kicks. Just getting into the corner. Out of corner streaks. First on the right corner. That's Alex Gabagnot. There's a late contest. Not good enough. You swing it over to the other corner. Just as good. This one from Chris Lutz. Mark Baroga at the line for two shots. Trying to hope against hope here para dito sa San Bicobi. He misses, though, on that first free throw. 14 ang kailangan nilang buruin dito. As looks, Coach Tim Cohn is sending in his gunners, Alacuna. Now on the floor, Blake Lee, pinagpahinga na, as well as James Yap. It's gonna be a long series for, for San Coffee And these guys, Blake Lee, Mark Pingers, the rest of these guys, they're gonna play massive minutes. And for Coach Tim trying to find ways to get some, you know, little rest for these, for these superstars. Less than 48 hours before game number two, sa linggo po yan, alas 4, imedya ng hapon. Petron is just now wasting away the time as they are poised to draw first blood. And, and there's going to be just lots of and there's going to be adjustments on the side of San Coffee. And you know, the thing is, not many teams have figured out Petron. This conference, only two teams have beaten them in the 14 games that they played. Of course, that was Meralco. In the opening round, or in their opening assignment, on their opening assignment, and Rainer Shine one game in that semifinal. 97-84. Petron will continue on their winning ways here inside the Mo Arena. And they did it. It's just like how they played all tournament long. They quelled uprisings, Jason. Ang daming amake na ginawa sa kanila sa Anmig. Nakahanap na sila na nakahanap na sagot as that three-pointer was brought to us by PLDD Talpan. Yeah, they, they waited it out. They waited it out until you look at the other side. You look at the San Big Coffee. Eventually, there was a, a, a part in that game that they slowed down and three-point shots started to go in. And that was a big difference. 
believe they had six three-pointers in the fourth. Only three for the first three-pointer. And Petron actually makes it to the century mark. 184 is going to be our final score. Petron winning in a huge way. They pull away late here in the fourth. Now, in, in, we mentioned it at the start of this game, or at the start of the telecast. When, if Petron is going to score a big number, in this case, at the century mark, they're, they're a team that's going to be pretty difficult to beat, especially for San Coffee that really relies on their defense. And just when we thought na nahirapan sila sa kanila shooting throughout the first three quarters, bigla na lang pumutok dito sa fourth. Yes, and you know, because they all, you almost feel that napagod na rin, or San Coffee got tired with having to play both sides of the court. Defensively, they, 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 it was so difficult to stop all the gunners of Petron. And offensively, they were being forced to make extra pass after extra pass. And the hero of the day para dito sa Petron Blaze Boosters is none other than Elijah Millsap. Elijah, some testy moments throughout the game. Sandvik just kept coming back at you guys. How did you find a way to quell their uprisings? Oh, uh, man, we know this is going to be a tough series. Uh, San Meg, they play so hard and... Uh, we just uh, got in a rhythm, and uh, Marshall, our shooters found the shots, and uh, we got in transition and started playing my game. You know, Eliza, another triple double, double for you, 35, 10, and 10. Uh, but it seemed at the start you you had to be the guy that had to be they had to lean on in scoring. What changed in the game in which you know in which you it was more of a team game after that? Uh, I think the coach just wanted me to uh, he wanted to force me into shooting long jumpers. So uh, I know I'm gonna get shots, and uh, my thing is just knocking them down, having the confidence to knock them down. Elijah, game number two, this coming Sunday, 4.30 at the Big Dome. Here's your chance to invite the entire Pedronaverse. Oh, man, Pedronaverse, we need you out here. Uh, it's a great environment out here, and uh, we love your support. Thank you. Congratulations once again, Elijah, and congratulations to Pedron. Stand by lang kayo, ah. Hindi pa tayo tapos. The Sports 5 Center is coming up, pero kami on the floor will be... Signing off 184 is your final score. Sangala ni Jason Webb, ni Erika Padilla, Magumar dyan po, nagpapaalam. Sports, ah, meron pa tayo nga sa aming pagbabalik.